Hey guys, it's Beth, and today I'm going to show you some books. Today I'm going to do my February book haul. You will not be able to tell from the sheer amount of books that I have to show you that I was on a book buying ban for the month of February, but I was, and I did a pretty good job. I did not buy that many, despite all the books that I'm going to show you now. Some of them I got in January after I did my January book haul. I'm just going to show you those. But no, they're from January. The first book that I have to show you today I actually got from the free section of my library. These are books that are discarded for various reasons. The first book I have to show you is The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out His Window and Disappeared by Jonas Jonasson. I've heard really great things about this book. It's in really terrible conditions. That means that lots of people read it and so that's those good things about a book to me, that lots of people have been reading it and been interested in it. The next book I have to show you is also from the free book section at my library, and it's The Imposter Bride by Nancy Ridgler. I don't know that much about this book, but I do know that it was shortlisted for the Scotiabank Giller Prize in 2012, and I'm pretty sure it's a historical fiction. So all of that sounds really good to me. In January, I ordered from Chapters Indigo the Percy Jackson series by Rick Riordan. I got the first one from the library, read it, totally loved it, and immediately ordered this box set. The next few books I have to show you are books that I ordered from Book Outlet at the end of January. The first book that I have from Book Outlet is the first two books in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, Obsidian and Onyx. I don't know too much about this series, but I do know that lots of people on booktube rave about it. I know it has to do with aliens, I think it's the young adult book, it's from Entangled Teen. Oh, so I don't think I've ever read a book about, like, aliens in a love story kind of setting. And the next one I have to show you is The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennet by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick. This one comes from the writers of the Emmy Award winning web series. The Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I saw this book on Book Outlet after having only recently started watching the web series. That's a little lame that I've only just started watching them recently, but I saw this and I was like, yep, doing it. And so I grabbed that one. In February, I read The Name of the Star, which is the first book in the Shades of London series. And on Book Outlet, I saw that they had a hardcover copy of the second book. And so I grabbed it. It is called The Madness Underneath by Maureen Johnson. I'm a little sad. I think I accidentally got a scratch in a copy. The Dust Jacket Has Seen Better Days. I also picked up a hair cover copy of One Kick by Chelsea Kane. This one is an adult thriller. Um, I forget what it's about. <laughs> I know it's the first book in a series called the Kick Lanigan series and it sounds really good and I'm looking forward to reading that because I really really like adult thrillers. They're so good. And lastly from Book Outlet I got Serafina by Rachel Hartman. This book I've been hearing a lot of stuff about. It's been talked about especially a lot lately because the second book in the series is coming out this month. And that one's called Shadow Scale and I really wanted to grab this one, read it, and then maybe even marathon it with the second one. So the next few books I'm going to show you are books that I got for review. Earlier on in the month I received a couple of books from Random House Canada. One of them is A Spool of Blue Thread by Ann Tyler. This one came out earlier in the month. I actually did a review of this one on my blog and I'll link it in the down bar for you. The other book I received from Random House Canada earlier in the month is The Illuminations by Andrew O'Hagan. I'm actually reading this book right now. I'm really enjoying this one. It's in Canada on February 17th and I believe it comes out this week or next week in the US. I will be finishing this one up soon and posting a review for you guys and when I do I will link it in the down bar below. So I'm really excited about this one. It goes along with one of the books I mentioned and it is Shadow Scale by Rachel Hartman. I got this from Random House Canada for review. I'm really excited to read it and I'm going to read it probably right after I finish Serafina which I'm reading right now. This one comes out on March 10th. Thank you so much Random House Canada. And the last book that I was sent for review from Rain Mouse Canada is The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro. He's an amazing author. He wrote Remains of the Day, which is a modern classic. He also wrote Never Let Me Go, which is one of my all-time favorite books, and it was adapted for a movie starring Keira Knightley. Yay! This month I also received a few ARCs for my participation in a few TLC book tours. I'll link their website below. The first one I received for a TLC book tour um, was sent to me by Harper and it is Girl Runner by Carrie Schneider. The book tour date for this one was last week. I will link my review in the down bar. I received from TLC book tours and Harper. A reunion of Ghosts by Judith Claire Mitchell. It's about three sisters who are a little eccentric and they live in Manhattan and they make a suicide pact but first they want to write a really epic suicide note about their entire lives and I think that's what this book kind of is. 
to read you what it says here on the back. It really intrigued me. Three wickedly funny sisters. One family's extraordinary legacy. A single suicide note that spans a century. I'm hosting the book tour for this one on, I think, March 27th. Um, sometime in the last week of March. So you should keep your eyes open for that one because I'll also be hosting a giveaway on my blog for that. And the last arc I got from through TLC Book Tours in Harper is Where They Found Her by Kimberly McCrate. Um, one of my favorite books that I read in 2014 was Reconstructing Amelia, and that was Kimberly McCrate's first book. This one's coming out in April, and it sounds so good. It's a psychological thriller, and if it's anything like Reconstructing Amelia at all, I know I'm going to love it. I'm hosting the tour for this one sometime in April, so keep your eyes open for that. I was also gifted a book in January. Um, it was actually for Christmas from my boyfriend's parents, but I hadn't been able to see them until the end of January. And that book is called The Storekeeper by Lisa Wingate. This is about a woman who works in publishing across some mysterious manuscript, and I think it involves her needing to confront secrets from her past. It just sounds really good, and I'm looking forward to reading it. Thanks so much! I know that was a lot of books and I still have a few more to show you. These are the ones that I actually did buy in February. I think I did keep it to a pretty manageable amount. To me, I know I did good. first one that I grabbed is The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Stormlight Archive series. I have actually yet to read a Brandon Sanderson book, but I am super excited to get into them because I love fantasy and everybody on booktube raves about him. It's massive. It's like 1300 pages long. Massive. That's why I had to get the mass market edition. <laughs> I grabbed The End of Your Life Book Club by Will Schwalbe. Schwalbe? I have no idea how you say that. But this one I've had my eye on for a while. I found it really good. Also, it was bargain price. It is signed. I couldn't resist. Come on. This next book I've just been hearing about all over the place. I've heard about it a few times on BookTube. Lots of people I know are reading it. It's all over bookstores, bestseller lists, everything like that. The whole list of my library, I'm like number 300 and something. I cannot wait that long. And I bought this one at the bookstore. It was on sale. And that is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I love thrillers and I'm pretty sure this one's going to be good. I'm trying not to keep my expectations super high though because so disappointing when it doesn't reach it, but it's really hard not to have such high expectations and I've heard so much about it. Both of these I've been hearing about on the book tubes and I saw them and I had to get them because they weren't that much money. The graphic novel comic book series that I got is Rat Queens Volume 1 Sass and Sorcery by Curtis Weeb. I think is how you say that. Weeb? I don't know how you say that. I've already read this one. I'll probably do a review of it just Warning for anybody out there who's also interested in, in this one, it does have kind of some mature themes and it's got a lot of language in it and violence. Just be aware of that. <laughs> Finally, the last one that I got. The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 1, The Faust Act by Gillen McKelvey. This one, oh, I loved this. This one I've seen all over booktube, lots of people have hauled it. Uh, and each one of them has said they heard mixed things about it. I actually haven't heard anything from anybody who's actually read it. It is so beautiful. I just want to hang this on the wall, but it's inside a book, so I can't. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can also find me at fuelbyfiction.com or on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Again, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Bye!